Alright guys, so here we are for episode number 14 of the F1 2014 modded career mode. We're in Japan here for another crucial race of the championship. We qualified in 10th place, and that's a little bit disappointing when you hear that, because we had some decent pace in qualifying. For some reason, we lost quite a bit of time relative to the AI in Q3. Didn't get the best of laps in, but either way, we're going to jump straight into the race here for another crucial race of the season. Wish me luck. where we wanted you to be, so we'll need you to push hard in the race. Alright, so here we are on the grid of Japan. We need to get off to a really good start here to really close in on that championship fight with Rosberg. And away we go. It looks like the start has been fairly clean. And now we've got to hold off uh, Kimi Raikkonen who's trying to go around our outside into turn one now. But we need to be cautious here because Perez and Bottas breaking very slowly coming into turn one. We've got that realistic damage mod uh, to contend with. So it's very easy to get tangled up in accidents and potentially uh, ruin your race on this first lap. But now we're getting squeezed out by Ricardo onto the grass there. And now we finally get in front of him into P6 now. Next up is Kevin Magnussen in his McLaren. So this start has been fairly good so far, picking up four spots. But we need to continue to move up because Rosberg, our championship rival, is in the top two, I believe. So we really need to pick up as many places as we can because uh, Rosberg is going to get a big points gap on us and the more positions we gain, then obviously the more damage uh, limitation we'll have. So uh, coming into the hairpin, we go do a double overtake there on Magnussen and Vettel. So now we're up in a fourth place, I believe, with uh, Jensen Button now right in front of us in P3. So uh, it's been a really good start so far, going from 10th all the way up to 4th. Uh, so far, but I'm not done just yet. I want to get past the two Mercedes if I can, maybe even lead this race, but uh, that's a long shot uh, at the moment. So at the moment, we're now coming onto the back straight on the lead up to uh, 130R. We can see there's a train of cars all behind us. We'll try and hopefully get away from them as quickly as we can, but now we're in the slipstream of Jensen Button now coming through 130R. Try and hold it through there flat, and Jensen going very slowly. We're going to go around the outside coming into... This final chicane, job done, we run wide slightly, but uh, we get the move done. Into P3 now, the podium positions after the first lap, we've gone from 10th all the way out to 3rd. This has been a fantastic start. Jensen might come back at us maybe on the on the start finish straight, but now we are uh, having a replay of what just happened there, uh, overtaking Jensen, who I believe was saving fuel. He must have been. He's going very slowly on the back straight, but we overtake him round the outside into the hairpin, or the chicane rather, and uh, job done. Now cutting to lap 13, we can see that our tyre wear is really bad at this stage. We were scheduled to come in on lap 16, but unfortunately we just couldn't, we just weren't able to take the tyres that long. Uh, we'll be coming in for a set of primes now for a two-stop race, hopefully. If the uh, tyre wear isn't too bad on the next set of primes, uh, we should be able to make that last. But the, uh, the recommended strategy was to go on options and then primes again, so I definitely won't be able to make another set of options last if I'm doing a two-stopper, so I've got to go for the uh, safer the two-stop strategy with uh, uh, Prime, so hopefully it works. Uh, if it doesn't, then we're in a bit of trouble with a three-stop while everyone else is uh, doing one less stop, but either way, rejoining right in front of Hulkenberg, who uh, runs out wide. Unfortunately, that's a glitch with the AI, where if you're going side-by-side -side with them through there, they just run out of road and just go completely off, but... Either way, lap 15, we've caught up to the back of Bottas, who hasn't stopped yet. We go around the outside, just like we did the button there, and uh, we get the move done a little bit cleaner this time, into P7. Next up is Magnussen, as you can see on the slow-mo there. And that's how close we got to, to Bottas there at top speed, almost 200 miles an hour, and uh, almost uh, coming together with a uh, potential disaster there. But either way, lap 16, we finally caught up to the back of Magnussen. And I have no idea how these guys are making their tyres last 16 laps. This is absolutely crazy, but either way, we overtake him around the outside uh, with the help of Slipstream and into P6 we go. Now we have Ricardo making his stop on lap 18, and uh, now lap 32. Cutting a long way into this race, uh, we've started to 
uh, made some inroads on the Mercedes, but our tyre wear in the last few laps has been really bad. Ricardo has now caught me up again, and uh, I think we'll be coming in very soon for a new set of tyres, possibly primes. I think at this, at this moment in time, we should be able to make the two-stop last uh, just. Uh, that's why I've been staying out of my primes. I've been losing so much time to Ricardo in the last few laps. So I believe I had about a six-second lead uh, over Ricardo. That was the biggest the margin got, but then the tire wear started to kick in, and then he caught me, obviously. So uh, I believe we have Hamilton now coming in for his stop, and he was the effective race leader. So the two Mercedes are actually battling, and we're battling Ricardo now. As we come into turn one, he goes up the inside. We try and hold it round the outside, but we just don't have the grip to stay with Ricardo there through the mid corner and he moves up into P2 at the moment so at this stage I'm pretty much trying to stretch out my current set of primes as much as I can just trying to stick to that two stop uh, strategy we've done almost 20 laps on this current set of primes and if we come in now on lap 33 we'll have another 20 lap sprint uh, to the end so hopefully in this next stint the uh, the next you know 20 odd laps are a little bit better in terms of tire wear it tends to get a little bit easier as the race goes on, you burn off a bit of fuel. There's less energy going through the tires because the car's lighter. So fingers crossed, uh, the Codemasters physics works like that, and we should have a fairly, uh, a little bit easier uh, run to the finish here, hopefully, and we should be on for another podium. It's all going to be up in the air though, because Ricardo has a set of option tires that he's going to put on for the uh, final uh, stint of the race. We go purple as we have. Uh, Jensen Button making his stop, moving us up into P4. Ricardo is leading the race at the moment, so he's leaving his uh, final run to the end uh, very late. He's going to put on the uh, option tyres, of course, so either way, lap 38, we've caught up to the back of Hamilton, who uh, took a trip through the gravel trap re uh, recently. Um, he was battling with Rosberg, and they uh, came up to a lap car. I could see it on the minimap, and for some reason, Hamilton uh, got the raw end of the deal there, and now he's uh, battling with us now, so uh, we're going to try and use a slipstream, maybe on this back straight to get past him. I'm just going to bite my time here. I'm going to be patient. I've got a whole bar of curves to use on this back straight on the run up to 130R that we're going to use. And hopefully that is enough. Uh, together with Rich Revs, we should be able to pass him now coming into 130R. And the slipstream, as always, is so powerful on this back straight. There we go. Job done. Back into P3. Effectively P2 after uh, Ricardo uh, makes his stop. And at the moment, our, our fuel wear is actually getting pretty bad at the moment. But I'm just trying to catch Rosberg as much as I can. If I can get in front of him, then I can save fuel. So, you know, these crucial uh, 25 points could mean a massive difference in the championship. So that's why I'm trying to push as much as I can. The lap time's been so consistent, just pushing so much. But our fuel is getting even worse, Team Radio. Okay, you absolutely have to move to mix one. Mix one. We need you on lean fuel to have any chance of finishing this race. Yeah, so as you can see there, the fuel is getting really bad. We're on lap 48 now, and we're almost uh, teetering on the edge of minus three laps down as Massa takes a trip through the gravel trap like uh, Hamilton did a few laps ago. But Rosberg is now within our sights now. We go slowly through the hairpin. We might be able to overtake him here, but uh, we're just trying to stay with him as much as we can. Our tire wear is now starting to kick in. It's not as bad as what it was in the last stint, but it's just enough to keep us with Rosberg. It's, it's going to be line ball. We need to get past him now because our fuel situation is getting really bad. Our, our tire situation isn't getting any better either. So we really need to get past him now. This has been our, our best chance this entire race. We've never been this close to Rosberg. We need to get past him now. And coming into 130R, we're maxing out at 190 miles an hour. Now banging wheels going round the outside into the final chicane. Job done into the lead of this Grand Prix with only five laps to go. Now we need to save fuel, but Rosberg is going to go back on the attack. He should have DRS on this start-finish straight. We do. So that's going to give us a slight breather as we come on to lap 49 now. Rosberg trying to hold it around the outside into turn one. Will he go off the track like the AI do? Yes, he does. And that's bought us a little bit of time. We're not out of the woods yet. We need to save fuel like crazy going into hyper fuel con for the last uh, few laps as we cut onto lap 51. We're still minus one lap down on fuel, so we still need to save fuel. But now our margin back to Rosberg has gone back down to nothing. So now we need to go back to running standard on the straights, but this is really killing our fuel wear here. Rosberg is so quick in a straight line. There's really nothing we can really do to defend, but he's going side by side, up the inside now, into the final chicane. He's trying to squeeze us out there, but we just uh, maintain the outside, around the uh, around the outside of the uh, final chicane there. 
And now coming on to the final lap, Rosberg is coming back on the attack again. We need to save up a little bit of curves for that final straight or the final DRS straight. But no, he's flown past us. Coming into turn one, he's got the lead back. And now I think it might be done, lads. He's in front of us. Our tire wear is so bad. Our fuel wear is so bad. We need just we just need a fuel con now. We just need to finish this race. Uh, the lead of the Grand Prix winning this race is uh, just not an option now unless Rosberg makes a mistake. Now Hamilton is coming back at us. We need to save fuel as much as we can because now I think we've actually run out of fuel and now Hamilton is going past us. So this has been an absolute disaster. This is just like Silverstone all over again. We've got Jensen Button right behind us as well. We've got a whole train of cars now trying uh, to overtake us because we've pretty much been parking the bus for the last few laps. We've now dropped down into P5. The next car behind us is Valtteri Bottas, but thankfully he's about five seconds back and now Massa is trying to unlap himself and then he uh, painfully tries to let us back through again. I don't know why, some kind of glitch with the the AI. I think they, they need to let me back through again, but either way, we're going to come home in fifth place now. Nico Rosberg has won the race, so he's going to gain a whopping 15 points on us in the championship. So there we go, the Japanese Grand Prix. This has probably been my most entertaining race uh, in a very long time. Probably the best race I've ever had around this track, and that's saying quite a lot, but... You know, not a bad race in the end. I thought we were in contention to win that race. It's just a shame I wasn't more, uh, let's say, efficient over the course of the race in my fuel saving. So, uh, 10 points to add to the championship tally in the end. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like because uh, that would really help me out. Uh, Rosberg winning from Hamilton in second. And Mercedes won too. And Jensen Button in third for his Mercedes as well. So... Yeah, there we go. Daniel Caveri, our teammate in 11th. It's been a, a fairly entertaining Grand Prix. I don't know why, but somehow we were able to come back at the leaders at the back end of the race. I think through the first part of the race, they were using up a lot of fuel, and uh, we were able to catch them quite a bit. So quite odd, but I'll, I'll take it either way. Uh, this championship is going to be very close from here on in. I have, honestly have no idea how it's going to go in terms of of the actual winner. We lead by four points now over Nico Rosberg. So with only four races to go, or is it three? I think there's four races to go. Let me know what your predictions are for the remaining four races. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. It might be a bit of a tit-for-tat uh, championship fight for the rest of this season. But Constructors, we are in eighth place still, and it's looking like we might finish there. But either way, that's been the Japanese Grand Prix for today. Until the next race in Korea, I'll see you guys next time.